everybody, it's Amanda, and I'm coming to you with an unboxing today. As you can see, uh, we have a pelican of some sort. Well, it's not really a secret because it's in the title, but <laughs> here's a cute little sticker that came with my order. I'm actually voicing this over because I recorded it and the original audio was all feedbacky and distorted. So I didn't want to reshoot the video, so we are just doing this voiceover thing today. Um... Yeah, so as you can see, it is a pelican. It is the Pelican M205 Petrol Marble. I pre-ordered it back in like March or April. I think it was supposed to come out in April. And um, yeah, I ended up pre-ordering it and then sort of forgetting all about it. Um, like it was supposed to come out in April and then it got pushed, I guess it got pushed back to May and now here we are June. And June 1st, I started seeing some, like, things on Instagram or emails from pen companies saying that it was, like, in stock and shipping now. And I was like, hey, wait, I thought I pre-ordered that. Here I'm taking the pen out of the package. It's very beautiful with the black and the teal. I'm calling this my shark's pen because it's the colors of my favorite hockey team. Um, it's kind of actually sort of why I bought it. <laughs> If I'm being perfectly honest, um, I don't think I, I don't have any of the other marbled uh, pelicans. I have the pelican uh, pens of the year for the last few years. And then um, I have, yeah, pelican M400 in the uh, white tortoise. And here I'm just showing it on a black, on a white background so you can see it pop a little more. Um, yeah, um, as I was saying, I have the white. Pelican M400 white tortoiseshell. I don't know what it's called. It doesn't matter. That's not what this video is about. <laughs> but it's the same size. Um, yeah, so we're just putting everything back and then we will take a look at the pen. Um, I will go ahead and be doing a writing sample. You'll get a sneak preview of an upcoming 30 inks, 30 days. And yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, as I was saying, like June 1st, I started seeing all these um, like, oh, pens shipping now and in stock. And I was like, hey, wait, I pre-ordered that. So I actually went to go look at my orders and it had shipped that same day. So I actually was supposed to get this on Saturday, but it arrived on Friday right after I shot the um, Kaveco video. So I um, recorded it and intended to put it up Saturday, but then the, I had the audio issue. So we're just going to, again, I'm showing it on another white background. I don't know why I did this. It sounded like a good idea. Um, but yeah, but we'll do a writing sample on one of these pages as well. And you, I like the teal ink window. Um, that's what I was showing off. I was trying to show off the ink window. Um, it has one. It's dark, but it has one. And um, yeah, the pissed and pissed. And yeah, it's very. it was very smooth. And um, yeah, I'm very excited. So it has the black finial, which is something that it came out in, I want to say, like, May, where they were talking about, they, it was like, something's new. It was supposed to have the silver finial, and then, um, and then they changed it, I guess, to be the black finial. And there is the Pelican logo, which is what I'm showing off here. So, yeah, it's a very pretty pen. I'm talking about how it feels um, a little more substantial than the uh, the pen of the year pens. I'm sorry I'm zoomed in so far. I wanted you to see the swirl, but I was not doing a very good job keeping the pen in frame. Um, yeah, but I'm talking about how it feels a little more substantial, and I think it's just because it's um, it's opaque and it's not translucent. So the ink that we're going to use is Van Diemen's Pixie Parasols. It is Pen Friend Appreciation Month, so I'm using a sample from my friend Melissa. And um, I thought it went nicely with the color of the pen, and I've been wanting to try it. So yeah, so I just picked one. Um, I didn't, I actually don't think I have a lot of teals in the bin to choose from, but this was one that I had in mind. So um, I went ahead and picked that, and that's what we're going to ink our pen with. And then um, you'll see it again in a future 30 inks video this week actually. I don't remember which day it's supposed to be, but um, this week. And I don't know what I'm doing off camera right now. Uh, I'm showing you the ink window again, I guess. <laughs> um, I have a medium nib on this pen, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. And yeah. I don't know what I'm looking at, actually, but okay. 
So I'm going to fill the pen. I did have some trouble filling the pen. I think I just did. It's a small, it's a, like a, it's a lower vial. So I think I just had, didn't have the pen right. So I was checking the ink window to see if I had ink and then I emptied it and refilled it again. This is a really pretty pen. And I'm just using the back, this is the Cosmo Air Light paper. I'm using the backs of the pages that we didn't use during 30 inks because I don't really want to waste it. It's going to be fun to have like a super filled notebook. Patches. Patches just joined me while I'm doing this voiceover. I don't know if he'll speak to you, but he might. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear my fan in the background. It's really hot in here right now, and I don't really feel like roasting for the sake of a video. Um, I'm talking about having a medium nib, and again, I'm talking about how the pen feels in the hand, how it feels more substantial. It feels really nice. Um, I don't actually think it is more substantial. Like I said, I think it's actually just because it's op an opaque pen. Um, and here we are with our writing sample. Again, the ink is Pixie Parasols by Van Diemen's. And the sample was a gift from pen friend Melissa. So thank you, Melissa. Again, I have a medium nib. And the pen is the Pelican M205 Petrol Marble. And I'm just talking about the ink again. <laughs> I really like this ink. It's kind of, it's kind of like light out of the pen, but then when it dries, it's a little bit darker, which I really, I really enjoy. And we're just doing our little squiggles. And uh, what I'm, the writing sample is last night, I had the strangest dream of all. And I've been obsessed with uh, the band Water Parks. And I know there's uh, at least one of you that also likes Water Parks. And they had a new album come out last week, I think. And um, this line from one of the songs has just been stuck in my head. And yeah. And we just do some more squiggles. And some loop-de-loops and some little figure eights and the nib is very smooth I don't have any alignment issues um, I know the last couple pens have had them um, I was pointing out the ink window because it works <laughs> and yeah I don't know it's just a good pen it posts nicely it just feels really good the pen feels really good and again, I think I'm mentioning how it feels a little more substantial than the um, other M205s I have. But again, I literally think it's just because the others are, like, see-through. And, um, yeah, we just write some more. The nib is nice and bouncy. So the M205s are steel nibs, but they're really fun to write with. So if you've never written with one, you're like, oh, it's a steel nib. Uh. Um, yeah, it, it's really fun and bouncy to write with. And I have... Uh, I think I have one in every size that they offer, and I love them all. I think, actually, the fine is probably my favorite. This is the Pelican M205 Aquamarine. I went to go get um, this to compare also with my Ocean Swirl. And, um, again, I'm talking about how the other one felt substantial, but now that I have it in my hand, it's, it's really not that way. Um, I pointed out the finials. You can see on the aquamarine, it's silver. That's what it was originally supposed to look like, and they switched it to a black finial. I don't know how people feel about that. It doesn't bother me. Um, I prefer the original finial, but also, like, it goes with a pen, so I sort of, I don't know. I, I'm not picky. I'm not generally very picky. I'm very picky. I'm very, I'm picky about very few things, and this apparently is not one of them but I could see how it would bother people. So we're gonna do a comparison. I'm zooming in so you could see it and trying to hold it so you can see the best part of the teal. 
then I decided it might show up better on a on a white background. <laughs> And then I decide, no, no, it won't. <laughs> so here's my Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl. I was mentioned when I'm pointing to the petrol, it looks a touch greener. I'm not actually sure if that's true, if it's just a trick of the eyes, or if it's just the way the design plays out. But um, yeah, it's very pretty. I like both designs. I really, really, really like the Ocean Swirl. Um, and I liked out with my ocean swirl because I have a lot of the teal in there, but I think they're, I think they're both very pretty. And then this is just a size comparison, Pelican M805 with a Pelican M205. So you can see the 805 is much, um, it's taller and thicker. And here I am feeling the pens again and talking about how it doesn't really feel that substantial. Um doesn't really feel that substantial but um yeah again I thought so because the other one's translucent and I don't know why that automatically m makes it feel cheap it does I mean not cheap that's not that's not the word I'm trying to use but um, yeah so we're going to do another writing sample I'm going to compare the uh, three pens that I brought out so this is the M205 Petrol Marble again with that Van Diemen's Pixie Parasols And all three of these nibs are medium nibs, so I just wanted to see if they were any different. Um, this is the Pelican M205 Aquamarine, and I have the um, Edelstein Aquamarine ink in it. This would have been more scientific if I had to use the same ink, but I didn't. And in my Ocean Swirl, I have uh, Sailor 50 States Alaska, which is actually very similar to Pixie Parasols. I think it's a, a, it leans a touch more green, I think, in my personal opinion, to my eyes anyway, but um, yeah, they're very similar colors. And that's basically what I just said right here, that you can't hear me. <laughs> Doing these voiceovers is weird, because you're not getting like my like initial excitement and response. I'm really bummed about that, by the way. But I didn't want to reshoot the video, because... I didn't. So again, here I'm mentioning that the Ocean Swirl is a touch greener, or sorry, not the Ocean Swirl, the uh, Alaska is a touch greener than the Pixie Parasols. But overall, my first impressions of this pen are um, pretty good. I'm very excited to have one, and um, yeah, I think if this is sort of your color jam, um, pick one up, you know, or, or don't, it's up to you. Um, it's, yeah, it's really pretty. And I think, yeah, I'm going to enjoy writing with it. And then we just are doing a show and tell of the spinny spinny of the teal. Awesome. So yeah, so um, yeah, how did you get one? Or did you pre-order one? Are you planning on getting one? Um, after seeing this video, does it seem like something you may be interested in? I really like the ink window. Um, it looked blue in the promo photos, but it's it's teal in person, so I really like that. And, um, yeah. Here, let's just stare at the pen up close. <laughs> I don't know what I was air quoting right there, but... Ooh, I just, like, zoomed out way too far. Um, anyway, yeah, so... <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I, I hope that you found it um, informative. I was talking here about how I thought there was too much black and not enough teal, but it's not true. Anyway, love you, bye!